Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back to Cruelty Free A to Z, the judgment-free zone where we learn all about what it means to be cruelty-free. So I have a little special video today. We are going to be talking about my collected haul from Sephora, from Ulta, and from TJ Maxx. This has probably been like in the making for the past month. This is like a monthly haul. Obviously, I don't do this every month, but from this past month, here are all the things that I have bought. So kicking it off with the first place I went to, Sephora. And at Sephora, I I decided to get the Becca Times Smashbox because Smashbox now owns these like few products from Becca. The under eye brightening corrector in the shade Fair Light. And I'm really upset that I did. You know why? Because I freaking love it. I love it. And it's $32. And now I have to keep buying it. Are you kidding? Like some affordable drugstore brand needs to make a dupe immediately. And if one exists, I need to find it. I'll do that. But I love it so much. I use it every single day under my concealer. It wears so well under concealer. It sits really nicely. It doesn't like affect it in any way, cause it to look weird. And I, it wears really nicely throughout the day as well. So I super love it. I have incredibly dark under eyes. That's just like a thing about me. You know, I'm always on the hunt for the next best concealer. Nothing has yet beaten the Tarte Shape Tape, but this could help anything. And under the Tarte Shape Tape, like, that is the most dynamic duo I think that has ever existed. So great purchase, painful price. Next, I got the Anastasia, this was like a brow duo and it came with the brow whips and the brow pen for $29, which I believe is the same price, if not a little bit less expensive, the same price as just the brow whisk. So I got two full size products for the price of one. And I'm not really a brow pen kind of girl, but I feel like I could be. Like if I was going to use one, it should be this one. So I've tried it like once or twice. I think I still kind of need to get the hang of it, but I think, I think it's a good brow pen. We'll update you further. Oh, by the way, check out my Instagram to see me use the under eye brightening concealer. Next. I got fancily packaged water. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, I just want to buy something from Tower 28. I have the gloss and I was like, okay, I'm not going to get another gloss. And I don't know why I was like, I'm going to get the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray, which is just like I said, nicely packaged branded water. I didn't need to spend, what was it, $28 on this? Get a mister from the dollar store, put some water in it and spray yourself throughout the day. What was I thinking? I wasn't. I was like, no, don't listen to that instinct. You're an idiot. You bought water. Okay. So then my last thing that I bought from Sephora was the Freck Beauty of Freck XL, the original freckle pen. I used it today for the first time. I do not have it on right now because I had to cleanse my face earlier, but I really like it. I think I need to practice a little bit more to use it but I, like the freckle look is in. That's a thing, everyone wants the fake freckles. And I thought, you know what, this is the pen to do it for me. And I'm having a good time with it. I need to work a little bit more, but you know, it is a little bit expensive, but I, I, I think it's a good product and I'm excited to use it more. And I know, I have a feeling I'm gonna forget to use it because who remembers to put on freckles as part of your daily routine? Some, scratch that, some people might. I'm not one of those people, I will surely forget. So I have to actively remind myself to put this on, but I want to, it's not that I don't want to. It's just if I'm running out the door, I'm definitely gonna forget. But I need to make a conscious effort to use this because I think it's a really cute product and I think they did a really good job with it. All right, moving on to Ulta. I have a smattering of different products from Ulta. We have, well, as part of the 21 Days of Beauty sale, so far the only thing I bought from 21 Days of Beauty, pat myself on the back for not spending so much money. It's okay, I just spent all this money on everything else. I bought the Maracuja Juicy Lip. It was $10 in the shade Orchid. And I am really enjoying this as an everyday product. I kind of spoke about it in my last video. So to see what I think about it, click here see my last video to see what I think about this. And also the shade is like really much, it's my thing. Okay, so next I got the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Skin Balm because 
head on over to my Instagram. I'm gonna be doing a battle of the balms, the cleansing balm battle. I'll talk a little bit more about it there. But I was running out of my current cleansing balm that I had and I wanted to try this one. So I've used it a couple times. We'll let you know what I think over on Instagram, but it is hefty. Like, I don't know if you can tell the size of this, but like, that's a tub. You could bathe in that tub. It's big. So way to be elf. I really like how they're kind of getting into the skincare game now. I think it's really interesting. I'm always kind of wary. I, I don't know, this is like my own personal feelings and thoughts, but I just feel like when all, all these brands expand, like, I don't know, it comes to mind like Kylie Skin. When like brands that started out as makeup brands expand to skincare, stuff that wasn't originally skincare, I always wonder how that's gonna go. But why not? Why can't they? Why can't they be skincare? And then lastly from Ulta, I got the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer because Eva NYC was just recently Leaping Bunny certified. That's for Eva NYC, so I've been really wanting to try some of their products. And I needed a heat protecting spray because I was out of mine. So I thought they didn't have specifically a heat protecting spray. This is the 10-in-1 Primer and it strengthens, heat protector, reduces frizz. That's what it says on it. Strengthens, heat protector, reduces frizz. And it does have argan oil and sunflower seed oil in it and you're supposed to put it on damp hair. So that's maybe not the heat protector I was looking for because like if I my hair's you know dried and everything and then I want to like curl it, this isn't necessarily what I was looking for. But I'm interested in still using it, see what it does for my hair. It smells so good and like really luxurious. The mist, hold on, let's see if we can get it. You see that mist? Very fine. It was just unexpected, honestly. So I'm not sure if this is exactly what I was looking for, but I, I really am interested in, in trying a lot more of the products from Eva NYC. Okay, so moving on to TJ Maxx, the most recent place that I just went, I got the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in the shade 240W. Is this too dark? Is it not? I don't know. You're gonna have to see in next week's video where I do full face of makeup, cruelty-free makeup from TJ Maxx. So I got the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I got it for $5.99. I like had to pick it up because I've been dying to try this. See if it actually is a dupe for the Ecosmetic CC Cream. I also got the iHeart Revolution Bronze and Glow Palette. And it looks exactly like a Too Faced Chocolate Gold mini version of that palette. This is my first product ever from iHeart Revolution. I have like Naked Revolution. I feel like I maybe have the Revolution XX something, extra, whatever. But I don't have any iHeart Revolution. No, I do. I then got the BH Cosmetics Vanilla Peach Truffle Blush Palette. I love BH Cosmetics so much. And again, to see how I feel about this palette and also just like thoughts on BH Cosmetics. I'm a little bit more of my musings. Stay tuned to next week's video. And then lastly, I got another palette from Cara Beauty. I love Cara Beauty, so excited to work with it. See if it's just as good as the Before the Party palette, which is my holy grail. So I got this, it is the Essentials Pro 12 palette. This is my first in this like pro palette line. I'm very excited to dig into this. It is a beautiful neutral palette. So if you wanna see how I feel about this specific makeup from TJ Maxx, like I said, watch next week's video. And then lastly, this is like a little surprise treat. My boss knows that I love makeup and she gave me an entire line of the NYX Candy Slick glosses. I think you can only get them at like Walmart now and on Amazon, you can still get them. Therefore, I am going to do an Instagram reel where I swatch all of these, but she was so sweet for giving them to me and so now I have. These as part of my collection, look at all the colors. I love lip products, it's so exciting. So I'm gonna do an Instagram reel, like I said, where I swatch all of these. 
All right, everyone. So that is what is new in my collection this month. Sure. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, would love it if you would subscribe, comment down below, give this video a like, and you can always contact me via email and Instagram. And I will see you next time.